Okay, so we're going to pick another name. The original person picked did not ever respond. So keep in mind, guys, I don't have a way to email you. I will put in the comments below who the winner is. I will announce it in the video. And then you've got 48 hours to respond. And this person didn't respond for, I've given them an extra day for three days. So it needs to go to somebody who really wants it. And I know a lot of you guys did. So let's pick another name. And after this, if you guys don't uh, respond, I'll just keep it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, the winner is Amber. Amber, please go ahead and contact me at my email address, vintagesack at gmail.com. I'll also put it in the description box below. You've got 48 hours from the posting of this video. This video is going up on Thursday, so I'll expect a comment for you by Saturday. And, uh, and go ahead and email me, and I'll also put a comment under your comment so you can see that as well. So congratulations, Amber, in our second chance drawing. Okay, so again, congratulations to the winner of Coach Molly. And let's get on with our video. So today we're going to be, um, I'm going to be showing you guys some really cute pillow bag alternatives if you want the look for a lot less. Now, as you know, I am a big fan of AliExpress and I've only had, I think, one issue with not getting something, and it was around a big COVID outbreak in China, and they couldn't even operate, so I understood that. But really, I mean, if, if you're looking at the two main ones, Wish or AliExpress, Wish, I think, is horrible. I used them first for a long time. The stuff I got was not at all what was pictured. AliExpress I've had really good luck with. Now you've got to do some searching. <laughs> and so I ran across these bags while well, searching for something else. I saw this one pop up and I thought, oh my gosh, that is really cute. I went to the seller's store. They had pretty good feedback. Their feedback is worse now than it was when I ordered these. And I'll tell you why. I'm going to link the seller below in the description box just for you guys so you don't have to search and search. But you guys, these were only $20 each. They were like $20.75 each. And they're so cute and free shipping. So we'll go over both of these. I'll go over the tote bag first. But these were really cute. I mean, you're not getting top, top quality or anything. They're not leather. They're vinyl. But I think the quality is pretty darn good for $20. And you get the pillow bag look without the price. And they're great to have, you know, in the rain or snow. You don't have to worry about them. So this is their tote bag. And this is the brown color. It just said brown. They also had it in black. And they had a color that was listed as blue, but it looked like a tan color. And I was afraid to get that one that I would get a blue one. I don't know why it said blue. Must have been a translation error. But anyhow, so this is the brown one. And look at these straps you guys they've got the gold going into the more gunmetal color just like on the Chanel bags now the weaving is just the vinyl again it's not leather but they're really pretty chains I was surprised they kind of cut them almost um, the way that the Michael Kors chains are cut where it's kind of uh, flattened laser cutting on it so it adds to the shine but for the price, I thought these chains were pretty good. They don't feel like a super lightweight chain either. So I was impressed by that. The tote size in the pictures looked really huge because the model was tiny because they used the models from China and they're, you know, normally a little bit more petite than, <laughs> than me. So I was trying to estimate, you know, you get the dimensions, but it's hard to visualize. So let me um, give you the dimensions on this myself. So at the base, it is 14 inches long. At the top, it's a little bit wider at 16. The height is 10 inches. 
and the depth is about three and a quarter. So it's a really nice medium sized bag. One thing I thought was interesting about it, these fit really um, comfortably over the shoulder too. Let me give you the shoulder drop. Because I know that's important to some of you. Shoulder drop is 10 inches, okay? But one thing that I thought was neat about it is it has a turn lock closure right here, but you don't have to use the turn lock because there's also a zipper. So it does fit a small laptop. Let me take out the stuffing. It does fit uh, my laptop, I think a 14 inch laptop, my work laptop. So it does fit in there fine and I can get the, uh, well at least yesterday I could, maybe not. Well, let me see if I can zip it over it. I thought I could. Yeah, you can just get the zipper to go over it. Um, so that works. And then the turn lock doesn't really fit because it's up too high. But you can use the zipper if you need to. But see, that's how much fits in there. So this would be a good, um, good little bag for a laptop. Now, I wouldn't put heavy stuff in it too often, though, because... These chains are pretty durable seeming, but they are only attached here in two spots. There's an attachment here and an attachment here, and that's it. You've got this little strip of vinyl sewn down. So I would hate for someone to be carrying a big laptop and then have it just drop out. So I would probably not use this as a laptop bag. Now the inside of it, as you can see, it's got kind of a knockoff of the Rexy mouth print that was popular on the Coach bags. I thought that was kind of funny. This bag does smell like factory, if you know what I mean. It just kind of has that, I don't know, smells like chemicals. But that will air out. This is just a silky, um, very cheap inner lining. It feels kind of almost plastic. It's probably plastic on the other side, so I'm sure it's probably waterproof, which is good if you need to keep it clean. No pocket on this side. We've got the pocket on this side with the zipper, and the pocket is very shallow, so you're not going to get too much in there. And genuinely, I mean, it sounds like paper. It's not paper. It's material, but like I said, it's probably got a lot of plastic content, so... Yeah, not the best lining, but it's cute. And one thing I really did like about this bag, they came stuffed nicely. Now, I didn't do an unboxing because they did not come in a box. They came together in one plastic thin envelope. So, no unboxing to do there. Uh, they were not damaged at all, which was good. But don't expect it to be packaged well. Um, and the shipping took forever. And that's where the seller gets dinged the most now is length of time to ship. It took about 10 days for him to even ship this out and then another couple weeks to receive it from Japan. So it's, or from China. So this is not the fastest thing. You have to just be aware it's on its way and you can always file a claim if you don't get it. But you know, 20 bucks for a tote bag, I thought it's worth it. And then here's the cute little dust bag that came with it. It's got the kind of Rexy like mouth print. I thought that was cute. And it's just like one of those kind of poly plastic things. It's cheap, but hey, it works. It made a cute little dust bag and it fits, fits the bag. So that was cute. So yeah, this is a really great option. If you are looking for just a knock around tote bag this winter with some style to it, very cute and very soft. This vinyl is really, really soft. It feels good. It doesn't feel super plasticky. It's got a little bit of a grain to it. It's a little bit more matte than super shiny, which I really like. So there's the tote bag. I thought that was super cute, and I'm really happy with that. I don't have anything that's quite that color. Now here is my favorite one. And this is kind of a knockoff of, I'm sure, the Marc Jacobs pillow bag. It looks very similar to me. But you know what's funny? I actually have to say I like this better than the Marc Jacobs pillow bag. I'll try and put a picture of it over here. But it's a little bit more squared off. And this one is more rounded. Which I think works well with the pillowy look. 
look how soft this is and it's vinyl too but it's really nice quality vinyl now the stitching around the corners you're not going to get great workmanship i mean <laughs> but it's cute does not come with this chain i added this does come with a crossbody strap that's a lot less crappy than i thought it would be because it's backed with webbing on the other side so that's really similar to how fossil does a lot of their bags which I don't love on a bag that's $100, but on a bag that's $20, I'm fine with because it makes it sturdy. And the crossbody strap was really comfortable. But I wanted to zhuzh it up, so I added this little chain from my uh, little Cassie. The Cassie, I think it's the 18. I added this little chain. So you can make it a little shoulder bag. You could add your own straps, whatever you want to do. So I have it stuffed, stuffed. But yeah, it's a great size. I have no idea what this says. <laughs> <laughs> it's just their own branding. It doesn't say Mark Jacobs anywhere. Um, the width on this one is 11 and a half, which is a great size bag for a medium bag. Eight inches tall. And it is three inches deep, but it expands. And I'll show you that in a second. So let me get all the stuffing out of here. This one has two snaps. And it came in lots of colors. This was, I think, the beige. And then they had a really pretty bright true green. Um, I think a white color, maybe black, and a brown. They had a lot of different colors at this one. So it came stuffed. This one also came with a real flimsy little dust bag, but hey, it worked. And then inside it's really simple. It's got like a herringbone fabric, which is much nicer and thicker than the one in the tote. And these are both from the same seller. You've got a slip pocket on this side. Not long enough to fit a phone, I don't think. And then you've got a zip pocket on this side, which is pretty shallow. Not quite as shallow as the one on the tote. And I don't think a phone would fit in there as well. There's no um, pocket on the back and no feet. But let me show you what fits in this and I'll show you how it expands. Okay, so now I have it packed with pretty much everything that I had in my Coach Lori bag. So that's amazing and it's still very lightweight. It's so cute. But if you need more room, look at this. The sides expand out. Isn't that cool? I mean, you don't even find that kind of detail on a lot of the coach outlet bags you know 20 bucks and the hardware on these is very nice it's actually pretty substantial feeling so just like with on the tote I think that the hardware is pretty good and it's just really it feels so good it's so squishy I didn't want to spend a lot because these pillow bags are just kind of like a new trend and I'm sure they're probably on their way out by this point but I just really like it I think it's really cute so let me back up a little bit more so you can see okay so it does snap with two magnetic snap closures at the top and they work really well and look at all the stuff that fits so in here it's the perfect size for my keys and then I have the big wristlet without a wristlet strap and my big pouch from my Lori this is a boutique item but it usually has a wristlet strap but it's pretty good sized I've got my glasses my phone case representing my phone fits in there no problem my medium zip wallet from coach and the cherries print fits really good i'll do a separate video on this i'm loving it and then my little kirigami pouch from dress up your purse and this has uh, extra masks in it and then in the zippered section here i just have some kleenex so see, everything fits really well. I really like this. I think I'll get a lot of use out of it, actually, because it is my favorite type of layout where it's just one black hole that everything fits into. That's my favorite, where you don't have a lot of compartments. But yeah, see, everything fits good, even with it. Let me see if it still fits with it snapped on the sides. So it just brings it in a little bit. The only thing I didn't like about the construction of this is right here the edging how it comes up I mean it's finished but it's kind of out there when you open your bag and snap and snap and it's done 
look at that everything fits in there it's so cute i actually can't wait to wear this one <laughs> i think it's really adorable perfect little winter bag so i hope you enjoyed this video and again the winner please get in contact with me within 48 hours or i don't know i'm not gonna i'll save the bag or something but okay i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe until next time